Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome video. I'm Erastus from Garment Creations. And on this channel, you get tips and tricks to amplify your t-shirt business. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a super quick setup on how to decorate those clocks that you see everybody's doing now in, on Facebook or in one of those groups. We're just gonna put it together here, show you how to line up, how to get your circle line up with your background and everything. And then you can decide how you wanna print it, either using Mosh Posh, glitter, sublimator on glitter, whatever it is. But I'm just gonna show you guys how to line it up and get the circle cut out, everything. So to get started, what I did, I just Googled clock template. So clock template PNG, and I was able to get my clock file. So I'm gonna drop that again. I'm working in Silhouette Studio, so I'm gonna bring that in. And then I'm also gonna bring in the image that I wanna use. So you can use an image or you can just use a color background and put a PNG logo onto that. Whatever it is, you decide what you wanna do. So because we're still in the spirit of Black History Month, I'm going to bring in Mr. Martin Luther King over here, all right? So I have my image and I'm gonna bring, make this image a little bit larger on my canvas. All right, so this is the image here, but you know the circle, the clock is a circle and the circle diameter that you need to know to make this thing fit right is 7.25, so we need to grab our circle tool here and make a circle. I'm holding Alt and Shift just to get it proportional. So then I'm gonna size this thing at 7.25 by 7.25. So that gives us our circle. And I'm gonna lay my circle on top of my image I'm also gonna do the image at 7.25, just to have a little consistency here, even though we're gonna cut the image out, okay? So now I'm gonna select both of them and align to center. Align there, align center there. So that gives us our circle and our image Now, the next thing I wanna do is select both of them again and go to Object, Modify, and Intersect. So what that did, it turned that circle shape that you had on, on the top of your image, it turned that image into the circle. All right, so you can see our square image now or rectangle image, whatever it was, that shape is now a circle which is sized at 7.25, as you can see up here, 7.25 by 7.25. So then our next thing is to get our clock in front of that. I'm gonna bring it to front, lay it on top. You can use the black, whatever color, but because of my background that I'm using here, I'm gonna change the color of my clock template. And to do that, I need to first trace this image. So I'm gonna to go to my trace tool right here. Select trace area. So select trace area like that. All right, and you see it's yellow. Then I'm gonna move my threshold over a little bit. So you see the image is nice and smoothish. All right, then I'm gonna hit trace. So what that did now, it traced around our original image here of which we don't need anymore. I'm gonna just delete it. And we have this right here. So that way we're able to go ahead to our color background and change this color to something. Let's go with like a red, all right? So, so this circle will also wanna make it 7.25. 
by 7.25. That way it fits right on top of our circle shape. And we're gonna align it again. Always important to align everything. And then you have your circle, but where the hands, your long hand, short hand, and second hand goes, you need another circle there. So the size of that circle is 0.25. So I'm just gonna do a circle there. That way I'm able to resize it to 0.25 by 0.25 all right and let's change the color to that one let's make it a blue or something like that let's drop it over here now selecting all three of those we're going to align it again all right so now you got your three images here. You have this part right here with the writing and it just says handcrafted by blah, 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 your name or whatever. But this is it. It's basically what you need. And what you can do now is just decide how you want to cut this, either print cut or sublimate on glitter. You can also use the 3G OPEG, also print cut that. I see people use the Mod Podge to apply it onto your cardstock. Whatever you, you want to do there, you figure it out cut it and then let me know how you make out all right but for me i've went ahead i've done this one here with my wife and then i got one here with mom and got lee and then we got this one right here with my man martin luther king okay so if you found value in this video go ahead and smash the like button leave a comment down below let me know if you're already making one of these clocks if not are you excited to get into it? You can get these clocks from Walmart at $3.33, I believe. And then you can sell those things for like $15, $20. All right. You figured out what you want to do to make money on that. Until next time, I am out of here. Keep firing up that heat press and I'm out.